Good morning friends. Welcome to Pannika Tutorials YouTube channel. In this video, I want to discuss one example on constructing the LR0 items. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First let me read out the question, then I will discuss the solution with you. Construct the LR0 items for the below grammar and find the number of SR conflicts which is shift radius conflicts and reduce reduce conflict so what they are asking first construct the lr0 items they are asking so how to construct the lr0 items first i need to identify what are the non terminals and the terminals so the non terminals are yes and the terminals are a epsilon i will not consider is it clear if i consider if i does not consider it will be length is zero am i right or wrong so what I can say, I need to take an augmented production and I need to write it as S dash determines dot S. After dot, there is a non-terminal S. So I need to compute the closer S determines dot S or dot A dot because it is an epsilon. So even if you write it or if you does not write it, it is a item only because on dot if you see why I am not writing it is a concatenated with epsilon is what a only am I right or wrong because whose length is zero so even if I does not write epsilon here it does not bother so I am writing the reduced move there okay is it clear is it completed the construction of item number i zero yes again if you can lot of people will think if again uh, there is after dot there is an s then the, I need to write the same S production already we have written which will be in red and then so we have completed the I0 item. Now on S what will happen we need to discuss meaning is that I am computing the go to on I0 on S which will be S dash determines S dot and then S determines S dot S from this uh, dot there is an s which is a non-terminal so again i need to write the production of s i need to keep the dot in front of the every production is it clear so this one i will write it as i1 on a it will be i not on a it will be s yes, determines a dot this is my item number i2 after dot nothing is there so i no need to compute the closer okay so i1 i2 is came from the i0 if you look at this one on s yes, go to i1 on s yes, will be s yes determines s yes, s dot from this one s yes, determines s yes, dot s yes, because wherever s yes is there you need to write the go to thing so yeah, after dot again there is an s which is a non-terminal so i need to compute the closer i need to write dot ss dot a or dot is it clear this is my item number i3 if i write on a what will happen it will be s determines a dot which is equal to i2 so i can erase this one i can write it as i2 this one is completed on s we have written on a we have written so it is completed i1 we have computed the go to on s and a from i3 on s if i compute let me compute here on s it will be s determines s s dot from this s i will get ss dot from this one i will get s dot s after dot there is a non terminal i will write the production of s which is dot ss dot a or dot epsilon if you look at it item number i3 and this one the productions are same if you look at it s determines ss dot is there s determines s dot s is there s determines dot s s or dot a or dot epsilon epsilon is there so i can say that this is not a new item i3 on s let me write here 
i3 on s you are going to i3 only now i3 on a will be s determines a dot which is equal to i2 okay are you able to understand it or not are you able to understand so how many items we got completely 0 1 2 3 so totally i got four items am i right and should i have a completed everything from this one i got s on a from this on s on a i got this one on s on a i got so i have i can say that the construction of lr0 items for the given grammar is completed now we need to check whether there is any sr and rr conflicts are there now look at this one this item number i0 this is a reduced move am i right or wrong and this is a shift move if you have a doubt you can check it let me erase this one so that I can use this space to make you understand. Take the I naught and let me take the only the action part. Okay, because in the action part only we will have the reduced moves and the shift move. If they accept part, what it will consist of? It will consist of the terminals A and you will have the dollar. Now I naught on A, what I will write? I will write it as S2 because it is going to item number 2. If let's take that it is LR0 parsing table because they did not say whether it is LR0 or SLR1 parsing table. They said LR0 items only. But let me discuss about the shift reduce conflict and the RR conflicts are there or not. Now as it is a reduced move, where should I write? I should write it in everywhere. Am I right or wrong? So I will write here which is R3 and R3. So there is an SR conflict. To make you understand that there is an SR conflict, I have drawn this one. Or I can say it directly like this. After dot, there is a non-terminal. So this is a shift move and this is a reduced move. So I can say that this item number I0 consists of SR conflict. Okay, are you able to understand it or not? Come to this one. Again, there is a shift move and reduced move. So I can say that again, there is an SR conflict. Lot of students will think that this is a reduced move and this is a reduced move. They will consider that this is an RR conflict. No, you should not consider because this is an augmented production. We have taken extra which is not there in the given grammar. So this is not an RR conflict. Okay. Is it clear? Come to this one as there is only one reduced move. There is no shift move. So SR conflict is not possible and RR conflict is not possible. Now come to this one. There is a shift move, there is a reduce move, there is an SR conflict. And come to this one. This is a reduced move. Why I should consider? Because this is the part of the given grammar. So this is a reduced move, this is a reduced move. So it consists of RR conflict. Now count the number of SR conflicts. One, two, three. Three SR conflicts are there. How many RR conflicts? one RR conflict is there. Are you able to understand it or not? So, for the given grammar, we have constructed the LR0 items. After the LR0 items, we have identified that three SR conflicts are there and one RR conflict is there for the given grammar. I hope you have understood what is SR conflict, what is RR conflict from this example and in each item, how to identify whether SR conflict is there or RR conflict is there or not. Is it clear? If you still have any doubts related to this example or related to this concept, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.